everyone and welcome to Saturday. Hope everyone is doing okay today. We're just having a lazy chill out morning at the minute. Um, Sam is on. You're on YouTube, Sam. Are you on, are you on ITV Hub? I do, it's on YouTube, YouTube or ITV Hub. He's watching on Catchphrase of Steve Mohan. Sammy absolutely loves Steve Mohan. Um, we'll go down to Butlins, I think it's on the Friday night, I think he is. Um, we saw him back last year, he was a really, really great show. Um, this year we're going to try and see if we can meet him because they do the meet and greets afterwards. Um, but obviously, you have to queue, so what we'll, so we'll probably do, might do is um, I probably might get up to queue about five, ten minutes beforehand, like everybody else does, and then that way we haven't waited too long. And then Ben is watching something on Sky Sports, it's all the build up to the um, British Grand Prix. Um, like I said yesterday, I love to take Ben up there, but it just isn't visible with them. And no, it's just too expensive as well. They reckon the British Grand Prix is one of the most expensive ones to go to. Don't, don't talk to you why. Anyway, yep, yeah, so we're still concerned for work. We're going to try and get the boys' haircuts. Um, it didn't work very well last week. And then I did say to Sammy about playing in the park, but as you can see behind me, it's growing miserable again. It's hopefully brightened up a little bit. And then our Asda online shop is coming sometime this afternoon. So yeah, so it's half eleven now. Um, I'm going to put a kettle on for a cup of tea for me, so you can see we're finished now. Anyway, so it's lunchtime. Uh, me and Ben have got beans on toast. Sam didn't want beans on toast, even though he likes toast and likes beans for some reason. So we're going to have these now. And, um, and then I'm going to have the boys' haircut. Where are they? Ben! You want a sweet tat? You want a sweet tat? Yeah. Yeah? You sure you don't want beans on toast? No. You sure? I don't want to. Okay. Wait, wait, what are you watching on YouTube now? Oh no, I got big out of the copyright. So yes, we all had lunch. Um, it was quite funny because before I said so I wanted toast, he saw that me and Ben had be, um, beans on toast for the cheese. He goes, Mummy, I want cheese, of course. Put some cheese on it. No, Mummy came out in the microwave. So in the end, he had, to, the end, he had not cheese on toast. And um, yeah, so anyway, just heading off now to the hairdressers. Fingers crossed we can get the boys' hair cut because you can see there's Ben and Sammy behind Steve and they do need them cutting. Um, I said we're going to hopefully try and make them wait till they broke up. They won't go, will they? They're so, so long now. Plus uh, this weather as well. Plus this weather, it's sweating like crazy. Um, like I said, we did try last week. We couldn't get anywhere. It was just too full. And um, Bill wasn't in the mood to wait last week. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get it done today. <laughs> Sweeter, yeah, yeah, you sat really good as gold, didn't you? In there, and um, Ben did as well, didn't you, sweetheart? Oh, Look at you got a hairy face. Oh, you got a hairy yeah, face, going, so you're quite good actually because you walk straight into it, actually, to be honest with you. So, um so have your bath tonight, or I'll keep till tomorrow. Have tomorrow. Have a tomorrow. So, we're gonna look quick look around town now, Sammy. Sweeter, yeah, because you're a good boy having the hairdressers, you know, what you can get now. You get some Toy Story stickers. Where? See, we're seeing my coals have got them. If not, waitress, sell them in waitress. All right. So, yeah, so you can see the town's really quiet. I think because the road is actually closed off now, isn't it? People I don't know what they're doing with that road. Some people say it's open. Some people oh, stop. anyway, so we're just heading in now to the charity shop. It's amazing well, what you can find there. sometimes in there, isn't it? Yeah, the black bin. I'm putting it in there, sweetheart. You put it on the floor. There you go, sweetheart. Look, there's a lot of um, books. And also CDs and stuff here, if you like. Who's that? Oh, listen, there's a, some here for Sammy you might like. Matilda, like that film. That's a really good film, that one. Mm. Um, where's he gone? He's over there. Some books i got here, actually. Oh, wow, they've got idea, actually. 
Oh, I think I might find a couple of things here for Sammy, actually. So, you can see how we have a lazy afternoon. Um, Mr. Ben has been a bit noisy. Aren't we? You right? Ben! Hello! Ben! What are you doing with those springs? You tangled them up. So, anyway, you just finished watching the race. Yeah? Who's in pole for tomorrow? That's good. You what, darling? How long to this trip? Yeah, um, so just waiting for our answer delivery. Just printed out the um, list we can check them off. What's the matter? What's from, what are you looking for? Pies. What's that? Oh, your chicken on croup pies. Yes, I saw those, didn't we? Um, got two substitutes with some apples and some um, Ben's crisp bread things, but I don't mind those. It's just when they substitute silly things, isn't it? What did, we all, what did we all do or something? They gave us something silly. I can't think what it was. It was something a while ago, wasn't it? I can't remember. It was something silly. So, yes, it's coming between four and six. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, it comes nearer to six o'clock, nearer to four o'clock, because I know what you want for your tea, didn't you, tonight? Yeah. What do you want for tea tonight? Hi. Yeah. What are you watching? Oh, you know something about trains. Yeah, so our shopper's here. Um, so, this is what we actually got. I've been wearing these shopping hauls for ages. Got some mints there, Irish beef mints. Obviously they're three for ten pounds. I've got two minces so I can do a shepherd's pie, little oil lasagna, or even skip bolognese. And then also for the three for ten, I got some of the Cumberland sausage. Do what these look really nice actually. Um, got some quarter pound of beef burgers for Stephen and for them. Got these chicken on croup things, this is what Sam wants for tea. He's got them for himself. And then we see what the chicken with ham and mushrooms. This is different. I've never had one of these before. Okay, you can see there was an offer two for six pounds. Got like one well, of cheese and uh, bacon tomato quiches. I saw that on the front page and I thought that would look really, really nice. They had an offer on with their biscuits, um, custard creams, the bourbons, ginger nuts, these biscuits, and also the chocolate dry digestives. Think what that was two pound forty four or something. Anyway, I got those for myself. Um, got some chocolate chip cookies there, and then Stephen also wanted these. Stephen loves carrot cake, and I've never seen these before. And he thought they looked really, really nice. So then we've also got some orange juice and some apple juice. Um, thought they wasn't too bad actually, to be honest with you, because they were um, on four for three pounds. I think they've got pineapple juice and um, cranberry juice on the other as well or something. But no, try those. Thought they'd be right for us. And then for, the, for Beth, for Sammy, because Sammy absolutely loves apple juice. Got some steak and gravy pies. I haven't had these since I was a kid. These raspberry breeze things. I thought they looked really nice. I think you can eat them frozen, I think, actually. Um, oh no, I'll get about 45 minutes before, which is too bad. Potato waffles, because we get three loads in our house. And I've also got some of the crinkle cut oven chips as well. Yeah, then I've also got um, some of these little fromage fray yogurts for the kids. There's 24 there. Might be yogurts we get through. It's unbelievable. A nice big tub of um, stalk so I can make Ben and possibly Sam with some cakes and stuff. I'm not no Sam really or not. Got some of those for us. And also got some of the cheesy spread thing. Um, I think it's Thursday, I think it is. Um, Ben's got the Brandon Palace for the school, so he needs a packed lunch. And I thought that'd be nice for him. Got some ham as well. We're getting for the same thing. I'm gonna let him choose the night before what he wants. Obviously, some grated cheese for us. I don't think it'd be easier to buy a big block of cheese and grate yourself, but probably it's just as easy to buy the grated. Some sausage rolls, and also two lots of the apple apple juice, orange juice, because again we get through loads of orange juice. And then also got some um, Asta green grapes. There's only a pound. They look quite nice actually. Those ones do. Um, Apples there for Ben. Stephen's got some of his pink lady apples. They're quite big apples there, actually. Obviously, bananas. We get to the same bananas in our house. And some pom crust here for Ben. Um, got some Jatees and onion ones. He absolutely loves those. I can't stand the smell of them. So, again, obviously, they'll be right for the pack lunch for him for Thursday. Um, Stephen quality me for getting some of these flavourings, the Chinese cheese. I like the salt and vinegar ones, personally, but they didn't have any of those in stock. Got these little crisp breads for Ben. Again, they'll be ideal for him on Thursday. Um, some orange squash and some blackcurrant squash. 
Um, at the minute they're going for a fade where they're drinking more black currant, but it's always best to get the orange in, because you never know. Got lasagna sauce there, got white one and red one, one day in a week. Um, two tit or two jars of the bolognese sauce, and I've got some baked beans and some of the tuna chunks. Oh yeah, I did get brine, that's right, because I know Steve's quite fussy with tuna, he likes it in brine rather than sunflower oil. And then finally we've got two bottles of the Ash as the bleach. And I thought this wasn't too bad actually. We've got 30 cans of dark coke. Um I say dark coke, coke, coke zero, same thing. And they were um actually ten pounds, believe it or not. So we've got to pack this all away now. See if there's this over here. Um mark everything off, make sure we've got everything. Because sometimes these home deliveries they sometimes forget things, don't they? So then guys, Saturday has come to an end, yeah, another vlog done and dusted not much going on this afternoon guys um, decided to do an online food shop from Asda this afternoon not too bad uh, those uh, chicken um, what was it chicken cheese and mushroom thing yeah around for tea they're really quite nice they were really nice they're small but they're really small on the portion size but really nice though yeah you know sometimes you feel like you need about two or three of them to make you feel feel better don't you <laughs> oh they're made well made that's a proper portion size but yeah, I mean, we just say we do our I tell you, only those people who can, you know, really, really concentrate on calorie control, you know, I'll give it, I'll give them all the thumbs up in the world, you know. I know. A lot of us, you know, we just can't do it. We just, we just motivation no there. motivation. We just, you know, just eat rubbish basically, don't we, Cheryl? I know. I think it's a bit nice to lose weight. You have to be in that right frame of mind to lose weight. Um, obviously it's been a stressful few or so it's stressful a couple of months to bed and stuff so hopefully maybe um, when it's about school in September we'll be in that right frame of mind to concentrate on back, back to the gym what we're eating right and stuff like that so yeah or maybe we just leave it till 2020 and start a new decade <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway yeah we all know we need to lose weight but so, yeah, di so difficult because like cool. you turn to food for it's Happiness, basically. Food's our comfort. We do have to admit that it is. Yeah, it'd be nice to shear away from the cupboards. That's the problem. You can't. Anyway, I thought I thought I'd done right by not yeah. really having too much fast food. You know, not having Pizza Hut and not having mm. Frankie's and Benny's and McDonald's and you know, Burger King. But you know, there used to be a, a, a thing that every Saturday we used to do as a family. We used to go out to a restaurant and did, yeah. uh, have something. But ever since I've been working for BP. You know, we've not been able to do it because it rarely, barely get a Saturday off without booking one off. You know what? Mm. When was the last time we had pizza? I can't remember to be honest with you. Oh, ages ago. Did we do it for Ben's birthday or not? I don't think we did, do we? Did we do it for Sam's birthday? Didn't we even do it for Sam's birthday? Did we? Um, no, he wanted Domino's, didn't he? Yeah, we wanted Domino's, didn't he? Yeah, the trouble is, Domino's pizza is really expensive now, isn't it? They are really for expensive. For the price. I'll tell you, I know you probably get loads and loads of filling on top and, you know, you get all the properly made dough and all that and everything else, but... It's just cheaper off going to Aldi, you get the pizza for from 69 Aldi. 69p. <laughs> I know. Trouble is with Sammy, he likes eating too much pizza. He does eat too much pizza. I'll tell you, it's like when we're at Warwick Castle, he just can't help himself. I know. Well, I guess he's not the only one anyway. <laughs> he doesn't have the pizza for himself. Thing is, Buckland's is coming up, so I'm dreading that because, you know, when you've got all that excess food around you and it's all you can eat, it's the it worst, worst thing ever. But then you have to make old Buckland's, we do do lots of walking, we don't sit there, we do do lots of walking and stuff, so we will burn it off at Buckland's. Trouble is with Skegness, it's not going to be as good as a walk as it is in Weymouth. It's because not. The Weymouth thing was really gorgeous if you haven't checked those vlogs out guys go back and have a look especially the Bowley's Cove walk over the top of the hill I'm uh, that was amazing. <laughs> really good yeah anyway guys yeah hope you enjoyed Cheryl going through all that shopping haul this afternoon she would rarely do many of those I now. don't do many of those shopping hauls now do I no anyway yeah guys thanks for joining us today and as always like video comment down below uh, Patreon you know the merchandise store everything all coming up in just a moment yeah guys if you want if you're interested in some merch go over to teespring and have a look and see what you think and uh let us know okay see you tomorrow for sunday seven o'clock bye. Bye. bye bye guys <laughs>